Hey guys, welcome to Twisted News, where we cover two of the strangest stories for you that are currently happening in the world. Today, we have a freaky case of karma about a man who was digging a grave for his girlfriend and ended up needing one for himself. And we'll also check out a mysterious image that some people are now considering to be the best photo of a UFO ever captured. Please like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications, please. And hope you enjoy this episode of Scary Mysteries Twisted News. Number one, man dies burying girlfriend. One of the most famous quotes about karma is, what goes around comes around. There are instances when we see this saying actually happen right in front of us, whether we're the ones witnessing it or actually experiencing it. It just goes to show that all of us usually get our fair share of ups and downs and that life has a way of getting back at us when we've done something wrong. However, with one South Carolina man, what happened was more than just what we would call karma. Most people actually call what happened to him a result of poetic justice. On May 7, 2022, possible neighbors or a passerby saw 60-year-old Joseph McKinnon laying in his yard on Tanglewood Drive in Trenton. Worried about his condition, they called out to him but didn't receive a response. In no time, the police were contacted and were asked to check on the unresponsive man at his home. Edgefield County Police arrived at Joseph's address. However, it was too late. It would appear that the reason why he wasn't responding was that he was dead. Apparently, he had suffered a heart attack and died there on the spot. Based on the state of the yard, particularly beside where he was found, it seemed that Joseph was covering a freshly dug pit when he passed away. Upon initial inspection, the police found no signs of trauma, determining his cause of death to be natural. There was a problem, though. His girlfriend, 65-year-old Patricia Dent, was nowhere to be found, and they also couldn't contact her. They immediately searched the house and found blood inside the property. The police also found out that Patricia hadn't shown up for work at the Mount Vintage Golf Course. No one was able to get her to answer any calls or messages, which, according to those who personally knew her, was very out of character for Patricia. So, this led the police to investigate further, and they decided to check the huge pit that Joseph was covering in his yard. A neighbor told the police that Joseph told them that he dug the hole to install a new water feature. However, what the police found when they uncovered the pit wasn't anything that had to do with water. Instead, down below were a bunch of garbage bags. Upon opening them, the bags revealed the dead body of Patricia. She was bound and had ligature marks on her neck. Upon investigation and backed up later by autopsy reports, it seemed that while the couple was at home that Saturday, Joseph attacked Patricia and strangled her to death. Using tape, he then bound her and placed her in garbage bags before bringing her outside of the yard to bury her body in the pit. While finishing up his crime, Joseph ended up having a heart attack, leaving the grave he made for his girlfriend partially covered. Patricia's twin sister, Pamela Briggs, expressed her shock and grief over her sister's murder on her social media account. She mentioned that she didn't have any clue as to what could have been the motive for Joseph to attack her sister. The couple never seemed to have a problem prior to this tragedy, and there were no records of domestic abuse or violence ever noted on the couple or their residents. The poetic justice of this case may seem to have impeccable timing, particularly as to how and when the murderer died, but the justice may never be totally felt by the family and friends of the victims if the truth isn't uncovered by the police in this case as to why she was murdered in the first place. Number two, best UFO photo ever taken. Experts and enthusiasts alike have long been searching for different ways to prove that otherworldly life and technology are real. Various images throughout the years have been made public with claims that they show proof of extraterrestrial beings in their flying spacecrafts, 
observing Earth and studying humans. However, most of them have been debunked, either by experts, analysis, and even the government. Recently, though, the community that supports the study and collection of evidence of extraterrestrial life has been buzzing with an image of an unidentified flying object that's considered to be one of the best photos ever taken. It's considered so because until now, no expert has been able to debunk or discredit the image and its history. The story behind it was shared by UAP Media UK on May 6, 2022. Apparently, it was a 50-year-old photo taken by an airplane taking shots to study the vicinity of the Arenal Volcano in Costa Rica. The airplane had three technicians and a pilot. Their task was to provide an aerial view of the northern highlands surrounding the volcano to learn about the possible impact of a hydroelectric project on its land and water. The study was done by the National Geographic Institute of Costa Rica on September 4th, 1971. The image, with the remarkable shot of a UFO, was one of the photos taken by Sergio Loeza, an aerial photographer. His gear, a specific type of camera that is used in making maps, was set to take high-resolution photos every 20 seconds during the flight. They were at 10,000 feet when Sergio initiated the camera to start taking pictures. Later, upon reviewing the photos, this one with a round metallic disc hovering on the right side of the frame caught their attention for sure. It was taken at around 8.25 a.m. according to its timestamp and was on frame number 300. The team, despite their excitement, was later told to keep mom about their discovery. However, this didn't stop the experts from analyzing the image in an attempt to either debunk the photo as fake or disprove the possibility that it was manipulated. Several Costa Rican UFO researchers and experts concluded that the photo was real and not manipulated nor fabricated. They also noted that the unidentified object in the image was not a result of double exposure or faulty camera shot. Included in these experts were a couple of analyses made and published by UFO experts Dr. Richard Haynes and Dr. Jacques Vallée. Over the years, further analysis of the hovering disk later revealed that the possible size of it in diameter could be around 120 to 220 feet. More than half a decade later, the flying disk image in the photo remains unidentified, which implies that the possibility of it being a UFO is still not being debunked. The news agency then shared that a Costa Rican resident and photographer sent them a drum scan copy of the original photograph. His name was Esteban Carranza. He also shared that he was able to reach out to Sergio and showed him the negative of the image, which was probably made about four years after Sergio's camera took the shot. In 2020, Esteban sent the negative to Kansas to have it drum scanned the result of which is now being used in circulation over social media. An even higher resolution image of the unidentified disk even made it more remarkable than ever thanks to the improvement in technology. And with this, it's also more likely to be subjected to more analysis given the fact that it remains to be debunked by experts. It's quite interesting that what we currently have now as possible clear evidence of extraterrestrial life and technology is actually something that came from the past. Despite the advancements in technology over the years, it seems that we still have a lot of work to do to actually prove it if in fact they do exist or fully debunk if they are fake. Until then, UFO enthusiasts will surely continue analyzing credible pieces of evidence such as this to further understand extraterrestrial life and what these beings mean to us. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want more, just like it. Please click the video on the right. We have tons of cool UFO videos. So check out our UFO and Aliens playlist as well. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you very soon.